Pythagoras was, uh, besides being a sort of a ma- mathematician and a religious person, uh, um, he was an advanced uh, soul, so to speak. And he had insights and understanding that many of, of us today don't have yet. There was a limit to believing that all of that information was pure and true. It was very freeing to understand the imperfection of the musical system. The one very, very basic contradiction that Pythagoras presented to the world, these relationships are in ratios, and some of the ratios never really line up. There are seven of these octaves, and within those seven octaves, there's 12 fifths. However, if I were to tune perfectly, then when I got up to this top C, it wouldn't match the lower C anymore. So that amount Pythagoras discovered was imperfect is equally divided up between the 12 notes. If we had continued to hold on to the idea that these relationships were true and pure, then the whole diatonic system of music probably couldn't have evolved in the same way. Anyone who's experimented uh, with trying to recreate the orchestral sound with an electronic keyboard string sound finds out very quickly that um, it just doesn't work. Forty electronic violins play at once, it doesn't sound like forty real violins playing at once because everything is too perfect. The old analog uh, uh, recordings work better for music therapy because the sound is uh, in waveform, whereas in the digital one it, it's in a it's not in the same thing. And we, of course, our ear can't hear the difference, but perhaps our soul can hear the difference.